in the fitness world, we are failing the people that we are trying to help. If we were succeeding, we wouldn't have these numbers. And the scary part about these numbers is they're increasing. These were pre-COVID numbers. I don't wanna know what it looks like right now. I couldn't find the stats. So um, Google failed me. So it's probably worse. Right now, 42.4% of the, the population is obese. We all know the downstream effects of obesity. In addition, 32 to 35% of the population is overweight on top of that. So almost 80% of our population right now is walking around overweight or obese. And there's always that one person that's like, well, BMI is um, the best thing I ever heard. So I have a master's degree in exercise physiology and, and inherently um, we have people that challenge the teachers on, on the stand. They said, just go and like, walk around your mall and look at people. Do we have an overly muscular problem in society? No, we don't, because the, the only way like the BMI is, is inaccurate from like the correlation of health effects is the fact that some athletes are overly muscular and they're classified as, as obese, right? Or they're classified as overweight. The first time that I was actually considered underweight on there, I was 5% body fat. Like the, my BMI was like 24.9, 5% body fat, right? So like obviously for some people, yes, it's inaccurate, but for the majority of the population, it's very accurate. Or go walk through Walmart. All right, <laughs> children's obesity rate. So children's obesity rate keeps going up. Obviously there's a correlation of environment, right? If the obesity rate of adults is going up, the likelihood of them raising an overweight or obese child goes with it, right? So when we talk about trying to make an impact on clients' lives, when, when a parent loses 50 pounds, 75 pounds, it doesn't just impact them, there's a downstream effect, right? And then mental health disorders, diagnosable mental health disorders are at 26%. How many people have mental health disorders that don't get help? A ton, right? So obviously it's way higher than that. Uh, depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide. Guess what's like the number one thing that can help with depression? Working out, exercise, right? But guess what you don't want to do when you're depressed? You don't want to work out. That's why you need to build such a big brand to get people in here. 66% uh, of our population is on prescriptions. So we're at war. Like, I know it sounds weird to say we're at war, but it is a battle. And it's not a, it's not a system, it's not a thing that you do and we're just gonna win this battle. It's gotta be all in, like Bryce said at World Conference, stop dabbling and go all in. That is the only way we make an impact on this.